right. Where's the bottle? I dropped it right here. Do they disappear from this area? Ah, whatever. I need to head upstairs. I know, I know. Where are the... The ghouls? The haunted? Possibly downstairs and to the left? Well, in that case, I don't care. I might have to... Perform a few decapitating shots, I guess. We'll see. Alright. Look to the left, look to the right. I can stun any of those girls now. And then perform one of those wonderful stealth kills. What's with the floor? Why is everything so creaky? It's not only creepy, it's also creaky. Anyone here? Like I'm in the bedroom. Well, in our bedroom. What is this? Ruvik's room note. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight. Eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset. Like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course you couldn't be dead. Oh. Guess this might be <laughs> the only way for Ruvik to be with Laura. All is that his sister. We still don't know. Could be anyone. Bullets. Just what I need. Can I hide under the bed? I can. No, 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 no. That's. All right. Let's stop this. Let's stop this nonsense. I'll resume creeping when I hear a reason to. Mm, excellent. Matches, matches. I only have four right now. That's not that many. The light really doesn't reach that far now, does it? Well, all these monstrosities. I think they've broken through. There's nothing to be afraid of, they're easy to deal with. I have, after all, dealt with them countless times right now. Well, maybe not countless, I could presumably count them. <laughs> it's a countable number of times. Wouldn't necessarily call them countful times. Okay, are they actually in this room over here? One of them snuck through. Alright, here's the deal. I will wait for him to turn around, head in my direction, then turn back around, head in the opposite direction, and then I will strike. As in, then I'll start creeping towards him, and then I'll perform a stealth kill. 
Unless he actually walks over here. Which would be suboptimal. I could use the bottle, but uh, I guess... That was so dumb. I was wondering what a... Can you actually see me? Can you, Dumbo? Yes, you can. I flashed the light unintentionally. I thought it was on and figured, oh, I'd better turn that off. Or well, he'll notice me. Well, no, the difference is quite... Um, the difference is far from subtle. It's quite pronounced. It's quite noticeable. That's one zombie gone. I guess there's the other door, but I'll exit. It's the same one I came in. Uh, I guess I did miss out on the stealth kit, but that doesn't matter all that much now, does it? I know the neat and everything, but they're not out there. Let's not get blown up here. Focus, focus, Vestin, focus. <sighs> yes! It's stressful every time, though. Now this door presumably leads back inside, just where I came from, right? Yes, the topology over here is perfectly reasonable. Ooh, I like the colors here. That's a huge door. Uh, let's try it before I try anything else. No, 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 no. This cannot be opened. Not in some trivial way. Once the third seal is um, broken, things will presumably go horribly, horribly wrong. Whoa! Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Do you shoot the light? How well am I going to cope with this? <sighs> you see, last time I failed because I was too frugal, I was too calm. I was afraid to expend ammo, which is ludicrous. Ludicrous, I tell you. It's a life and death scenario. I need to be willing to expend ammo. Let's do this again. I grab the bottle. Shit. Shoot the light. Last time I tried to shoot the rope as well. But that's not the way. Go away. <sighs> I've escaped through the kid again, now I'm going to save, then head all the way back up. To finally deal with what's Have you forgotten something? over there.
Let's jog a little. Not sprint, but just jog. I can slay you, you little piece of... I got screwed originally. No! Away with your head! Oh! Oh my! Why did they die in a fire? Like Rubik's parents, what happened here? What happened here? One of the zombies got incinerated. Ah, incredible. Alright, there's a side passage here. I might as well investigate it before heading further. <laughs> it's always something in the toilet, isn't there? And of course, I will pick it up. Why wouldn't I? Is it filled with blood? I can't see. <laughs> Who are the... Oh, are you Laura? No, it's a map fragment. Excellent. 16. I'm glad I got here. Am I though? Am I actually genuinely glad or am I just saying that? Most importantly, I shouldn't be afraid to expand ammo, especially pistol ammo. It's basically nothing, it's meaningless. Oh. A door over here, and up ahead, I can constantly see. Done. There's stuff up ahead. Let's uh, investigate the door closer to us. A grenade over here, which I'll pick up. I'll make use of them further down the line, but not now. Oh, I'm full on grenades. That's amazing. Anything here? Outside? I'll presumably eventually see the ghastly visage of that girl. Eventually, of Laura. Wonder how frightening it'll turn out. Three matches, I need to get more matches, if at all possible. Oh dear. Another bedroom. Whose is it? Might be one of the parents. And if so, then a horrible, horrible atrocity got committed. Right? No! <laughs> they got set ablaze, didn't they? The whole mansion got set ablaze. I, I don't know what actually happened. Not yet, we will find out. Were they personally set on fire? <laughs> Was the mansion set on fire? Nothing! Well, you don't owe me anything, game. Oh, I know that much. Oh no, I don't like this. Do I walk into the fireplace? I guess I do. What if I get trapped, though? Well, at least have the courtesy of saving one thing. Scribbling, I hear scribbling. Can you have a look-see? Oh dear. Third one, I know. So what's uh, down the corridor then? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think if I deal with this, I'm going to trigger a cutscene. Let's head on back and go down the corridor first. If this entire thing is uneventful, I might just cut it out. <sighs> the goddess, I completely forgot about these. Need to be on the lookout. It could be anywhere. And that's one key. I've presumably walked past so many others. What? There's something or someone walking out through the... Eesh. No, let's go down here first. So many loose ends. First of all, that puzzle to solve. Second of all, that person or zombie. That didn't sound like a zombie, they shamble. And the third thing... Oh dear! I will blow myself up on this one, won't I? That's okay, I can heal myself. The spell healing as well. Relax, Vestin. Eagle Beaver, I almost overdid it. Almost undershot it. It's okay, don't be afraid to use your gun. This is America. Um, I am holding the, the use button. There we go. I had to be closer. Another thing dismantled, another trap part acquired. There's the doll. What's beyond the doll? Trophies. Animal trophies, as far as I can see, but trophies nonetheless. Elk, and so on. Yeah, destroy all of Pulsar. Every last thing. That can be destroyed, but not everything can. But anything of note over here? I don't hear any zombies, they usually champ- oh. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream. But they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal. But which will open the way? Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal. But which will open the way? Trust, fear, and envy remain. There we go! Of course you would have gotten up. I'm going to rely on positives here. Oh my goodness, it's, it looks so suspicious if something was to... Uh, just spring forth out of the... Anyway, I'm going to focus on positive aspects. Whoa! Burn! Burn, I say. Little SOB nicked me. Slight bit. But that's okay. That's okay. I can deal with a bit of damage. And I got a hatchet out of the deal. Okay, I will blow myself up on this one one time. 
I could go back and save, but it's too far away now. Am I getting better at this? I should head back, I have the answer, but let's go through this door anyway. Venturing through these areas is anything but pleasant. Ow. I see. We've opened from the other side the final remaining door. The mystery has been solved. Alright then. All that remains is resolving that final puzzle. Need to stimulate the final region and the doll shall open. At least that's what I hope is going to happen. Ultimately we shall see. Let's jog on ahead. What's the worst that could happen? There are no zombies in the area. I've cleared them all out. Mm, I could heal at any point. If anything were to happen, I have a spell syringe here. If I make a mistake during this experiment, I will help myself and then I'll use a syringe. Retrieve the spell syringe, so on. <sighs> Envy, fear, malice, causality. What? I thought the final region to stimulate was completely different. Well, that leaves two choices. It's between envy and fear, if I am to trust Ruvik. Alright, let's... Hear this one out. <sighs> Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement A2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Yes, what were the results? Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Subject feels as I do, suggests malice, but... I think I ought to rely on fear. It was heavily hinted on, and it was one of the primary regions outlined. There's a marker above to the left, and to the left and slightly below of it. So it's essentially the back of the head. Now I've done it, literally. Now, the door opening isn't necessarily the best of things. Oh, look at this fireplace. Oh. get up. Oh god. Do 
Do I heal? It would be reasonable to. It's not a surprise to anyone at this point, is it? Ruvik is a psycho. Ruvik murdered his parents. And the dark had a vested interest in assisting him along the way. He didn't know some things, but uh, in the end, to an extent, he was complicit in all of this. I believe he regrets it. And at the very least, out of self-preservation, he would lo love to set things right. At the very least, so far as um, us all getting out of here alive is concerned. That sounds like uh, a desirable bell minimum. Alright. What's the catch here? Which doll shall spring open? Will it be Ruvik busting out of something? What is it now? Whatever it is, I... I'm going downstairs and saving, obviously. Because the door should be open, but I'm not ready to go through. I know, I know. Well, go ahead, show me. You're right about that. But before we head through, I'll drop the hatchet here. Oh, thank goodness. Let's save. Hopefully nothing will interrupt my saving, even though this is a very predictable spot before which people would save. That's my hatchet! That was my hatchet! What do I do? Do I race down this corridor? Oh dear. This won't end well, will it? Is this a boss fight brewing? Yes, we figured this one out <laughs> a long time ago, haven't we? What's with the mannequins? A pig? <laughs> Maybe he started out with animals. Uh, quite a few psychos do. I know, I'm supposed to head downstairs. I'm just stalling because I'm afraid, to an extent. <laughs> yes? Well, at least I got a checkpoint. Oh, that's, that painting was pointing in the right direction. Alright, fine. Let's not sprint too much. I might need that sprint when running away very, very soon. I'm pursuing at this point instead of... Oh, oh, this is a very old Natal! This is the same room! Yeah! It enveloped me. The memories. Barn. Pig. File. Spikes. Presumably that bleed that holds. Don't tell me I ought to fight, fight Ruvik right here, right now. Oh, 
I'm out. Is this lowering? I presumably have to go between these so as not to... Right, I understand. Carefully navigate this maze. Don't trip anything. Hello, mannequin. You're going to explode, aren't you? Heads! What? Not skulls, it's just... Mannequin heads, masks. What the hell? It collapsed on its own. Is that good or bad? Oh dear. Alright, this is a maze. And off we are to be amazing. Onwards. I got hurt a bit, but that's insignificant. Heads! It's like a head ache, except the heads are the ones that ache. Me. Oh, I'm back here with the mannequin. I got teleported here. He failed to destroy me. You're the one who did this to us. Well, maybe... Possibly that could could be uh, something other than Ruvik. Maybe it's the other people trapped inside here who feel resentful that uh, they're trapped here and are lashing out. I I could have tried disarming all those traps to get trap parts, but quite frankly, I, I was in a bit of a hurry, you know, in a bit of a rush. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't hold it against me. That's... I'm never say that's beautiful. Oh, what? What? You're setting it on fire? Collectively? Oh, maybe that's why he was so... He was bandaged up. All right, yeah. Why was I led here? Look at all those sunflowers. Are they facing anything in particular? Are they facing me? Well, presumably I ought to head to the building. I could refuse to do that, but that might not be wise. Anyway, my speculation was that... Uh, 
the townsfolk set uh, Ruvik on fire as his unnatural demon child. That's why he was wrapped up in the bandages and his parents tried to hide him to save his life because they loved him, even though he was pretty messed up in all sorts of ways, both physically and mentally. And, uh, and he killed them despite that because he thought um, they were ashamed of him, they hated him. I could of course go on and speculate further, but uh, as usually tends to be the case, it's uh, much simpler just to gather more information than it is to try to get it um, out of pure free association. Right, what's in the barn? Oh. I don't know if it's his sister or not, but... Presumably, presumably it is his sister. <laughs> I think he loved his sister, but rich bastards think they can buy up all our land. Yeah, I think he did. Need to be shown who really owns these parts. Oh, as you can see, it's assholes against assholes. Jump! Don't you trust her? Oh, and your trust was betrayed. Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Guys, this is a special kind of evil. <laughs> what the? But of course, some people feel justified in these sorts of actions as long as you know it's some sort of a Nobody. class Nobody. enemy. Nobody. She is beautiful. Oh god, he's going to survive. And she isn't. That's why... He... Jesus! Shit. I better get out of here. There. Well, I'm traumatized. Holy shit. Yeah, sweet, merciful logos indeed. That... That was... Predictably traumatic. Poor Laura. <laughs> That's what, that must have weighed on his conscience, eh? Give me up. I don't feel like there's even much of a need to... Oh, right, of course. Uh, I know what I need to do. I need to raise this a bit. Right? You've seen what I've seen. There's not much else left to say. And I'm presumably supposed to climb that ladder, but... Can I use it again? Come on, raise it a bit. It makes perfect logical sense. Just raise it a bit and then you can climb on top of it, get to the ladder and so on. Wrong button. Yeah, I figured as much. Of course, you are supposed to hit it. Now what do I do? Okay, it's up though, but how am I supposed to get up though? Oh, I see. Right, remember that you can activate these things. Not only by... Pulling the lever, but also by shooting. Oh, 
be meticulous, pick everything up. Oh, maybe you're supposed to burn these because there's, because there's hidden items. Uh, beneath them or something. Maybe that's the idea. Of course there are items! There's a key over here! That's why you got the prompt to burn these in the first place! That's why you can shuffle them around! I just got a key for my troubles. Sheesh! Oh dear. Back in the barn. Still on fire. Um. Yeah, I, I understand that he wants me to die in a fire, but... How do I... Counteract that? Do I actually genuinely just try to fight him? I don't think I have much of a choice. Go away. A blammo. I could switch to some balls. Laura. You'd love to save her, wouldn't you? Of course, even though this is just a memory of her, you still would love to save her! But she's dead already. I didn't! I am not these people! I am not those rednecks! They were acting of their own accord! Oh no, 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 not... Oh wait, I'm back! Onwards! The ammo lost was... Must You've got to keep your strength up. My children... I want... Beatrice, we have been through this. <laughs> Sometimes I hear his voice. The basement. He sounds so close. It's the parents. There is nothing down there. How can I be any more clear? Then why is it locked shut? Why can't I go down there? I heard the music. Have you fooled me into believing that I could save? Maybe that was the music. I know that I can go through here, but I would love to see any other option in front of me. Anything else, really. Oh dear, I feel like I've been through the boss fight already. Can it can it all just end? I mean, not in a, a deadly way. No, wait, no, there's a door over here, quite clearly. And a hidden passage. I'll try the door first. Let's check my bolts first. As the bolts are concerned, I do have plenty of regular piercing ones. I have everything, let's be quite clear on that. I don't have the burning ones or the poison ones, but they are not that effective. But I do have all the other ones. So in a pinch I can absolutely use them. Alright, let's go through the door first. Never mind, can't go through the door. The hidden passage is the only way.
Didn't expect to think or say that, but poor Ruvik. This is the end of the chapter, isn't it? Yes! Chapter 9 clear! And thus we have learned a terrible, terrible truth. Actually, more than one truth, we have learned on one hand that the doctor isn't necessarily squeaky clean in any sort of way, shape or form. No, 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 he's been a horrible enabler. He knew perfectly well what Ruvik was capable of and what sort of person he was. It's not just that he enabled Ruvik to do all sorts of things unwill unwittingly. No, 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 no. He was aware of Ruvik's nature, his proclivities. He was aware of all of these things. And... Uh, in all of that, in all of that, he supported him for possibly more or less noble reasons, possibly just for science. But still, he did support Ruvik. On the other hand, we now know what sort of trauma Tru Ruvik went through. Absolutely horrible. Not only did he get horribly, brutally scarred on one hand, but on the other hand, he lost his sister, his beloved sister. And then his parents locked him in a basement with his father insisting that he didn't exist. Now that's a surefire way to build resentment. And then, of course, eventually Rubik, Rubik got out and took his vengeance upon humanity in general, I would say. With the notable exception of Laura, he does seem to have a soft spot for her, despite everything! Even in that gruesome, red, swirling form. <laughs> he couldn't finish me off, saving Laura's <laughs> shred of a memory took precedence. <sighs> And now we are venturing further into his world, into his memory, into the life of his parents and his own. Absolutely fascinating. Well, either way, thanks for watching, and you will see me elsewhere.